In this video, I am going to show you how you can use a plugin called NVIM LSP install to install any language server that you want. You don't need to add the required language server name in your uh, language servers file continuously if you use this plugin. So I'm just going to copy this part here. Uh, this one in the ports and then uh, let me go to my new OVM folder then I'll open the init.lua file and then go to your uh, plugin slash init.lua and type use and inside uh, brackets paste this and then after that uh, we can restart NeoVim and run packer sync this will install the plugin okay it hasn't installed okay i had installed it previously so it did not do anything extra so now you will have to go to your um, language servers file copy everything uh, press shift v and shift g and then type x to delete everything okay now uh, we are going to use lsp installer here so let's uh, require lsp installer local lsp installer installer equals require um, nvm lsp installer okay then we want to call the on server ready function so lsp underscore installer dot on server ready and it will uh, return a function uh, server it will call a function server and let's add the end part also okay and here we can uh, type local capabilities okay let's do one thing i'm just going to uh, one minute I'll just cut this and undo everything. Okay, actually one second. Uh, yes, so I'll just delete this and undo everything and I'm going to paste it here. And what I do, I'll just uh, pop uh, put all of this in comments by pressing space and C uh, if you haven't watched my comment in my video watch that uh, you can get comments like this so um, let's search for capabilities okay the capabilities are here so we can just paste this here and space cl to uncomment this line okay not here we have to paste it here okay and undefined global server there are many errors let's see if they go after some time okay so next is we need to uh, use make a options uh, table so local ops equals uh, capabilities equals capabilities okay then if server dot name equal equal uh, some neko lua we are going to add some additional configuration for some neko lua so we are uh, going to add this here okay ops equals vim dot tbl underscore d extent and force then here we are going to return uh, add a table so in that table we want settings we can just uh, copy this here uh, settings if we search for settings here we have this okay now I'm going to copy this and put it here and I will uncomment all
color this okay uh, runtime path i'm going to uh, change that from runtime path to um, vim dot split uh, package dot path and comma okay yes now unexpected symbol end um, let's see about that later right now it is giving undefined global server but it should be a um, parameter to the function uh, let's see after some time if it gets fixed automatically okay now after this is done we want uh, ops at the end ops yes then after that we after this if uh, we can just do server colon setup ops there is still one error so i'm just going to um, delete all of this and put it here in a comment okay one moment yes now on server ready function and this should work actually uh, let's just delete all of this top part okay lsp installer equals require nvm lsp installer lsp installer dot on server ready function server let me retype this function yes now it is working for some reason uh, let me see what the problem was uh, before um, I don't know it looks the same but still it was giving me one error now we can just uh, copy paste this here and uncomment all of this okay so now uh, I think this will work so let's uh, restart NeoVim and uh, see uh, here if I do something uh, the language server is still there uh, let's see lsp install you can get all the installed servers and not installed servers by typing lsp install info and here it says ls install servers because i had already uh, installed it before the video so what you have to do you just have to install the lua language server by doing lsp install you can just press uh, tab after pressing lsp it will give you all the uh, commands which you can do with lsp install and to see what language servers are attached to the current buffer you can see uh, that by doing lsp info okay so here samneko um, lua has been um, attached and configured servers are only subnet lua so let's install other servers also uh, first let me show you how you can install the lua language server you can do that by pressing lsp info i mean install uh, subnetco if you uh, press tab you will see all the language servers that are available we want subnet lua right now <coughs> and you can just uh, do that already this was installed again it has been installed and if you restart it should start now let me type something and i get all of this auto complete okay now let's install other language servers also for example uh, you can do html uh, let me get the list of all the language servers lsp install info and let's see all the language servers uh, let's see what i actually need uh, ts servers i need a ts server i need 
so let me do lsp install uh, ts server okay this is installing okay ts server has been installed and html i want html also let me search for html here it is there okay it is install oh lsp install info if you type i on top of the server it will uh, install the server so let's just uh, search for um, let's do tailwind css if i press i it will uh, start installing vim ls i want uh, rust analyzer pyrite and i think that's it uh, you can do uh, clang d uh, also for uh, c and css ls also i want mm. jd language server i don't want that yeah this is fine okay now all of this has been installed uh, these servers have been installed now let's open a javascript file say something or js.js js and js. now if i do lsp info uh, two clients are attached uh, ts server and tailwind css if you want to uninstall one server you can do lsp uninstall uh, tailwind css i don't want tailwind css i can uninstall that and here it says tailwind css was uninstalled okay now again if i restart lsp info now only one client and uh, no tailwind css only ts server is there so let's see if we get a proper auto complete or not okay so function everything is fine and for uh, css dot css okay all the auto complete and diagnostics are there and for html all the tags are there here okay so i think uh, only pyrite is left so def okay all these are there uh, which is very nice um, it means everything is working and i think that's it for this video um, if you like this video and learn something new then like the video and also subscribe to my channel we are at uh, 600 subscribers now uh, let's get to 1000 subscribers by the end of january okay so that's it bye bye